In this section, we're going to look at getting your book ready to add the material that you already have collated to move into this student booklet. Now, we left it on this page with the material we'd added from our media libraries. We don't want this anymore. I simply right click on that page and I can delete it and it's gone. Now, in order to set our book up, the first thing we're going to need is a nice title. So, up in the corner here, we click on book title and this is how it comes preset. There's nothing wrong with these textiles, so I'm just going to use them. I'm going to double click on that and rename it the age of discovery. It's locked into capital letters, but I don't mind that. I'm not going to use this bottom section, so I click on it and press delete on my keyboard. Same with the little separation bar there. Double click on this, highlight the whole thing, and I'm going to rename this with my title, which is going to be Exploration Navigation and Trade. Now note that doesn't all fit, so we have to just drag down that little plus sign and make it a little bit larger. My text size is a little bit bigger than I need it to be, so I can go up here and just change that down. And I'll just have to change this text as well. Gets it down to the size I want. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now, I've decided I want a, a different image up here. So, in my gallery, the first thing I have is a image of a world map. I simply drag that over and drop it and that's now changed my front image. So there's my front page, all set up, ready to go. Now the next section, Introduction Media. This is a little video file which will play every time the book's opened. Now students are going to get very tired of this very quickly and video files can be large file sizes. So possibly not even bother with this, but for today, just as an example to show that what we're doing, we will. My next file here is a small movie that I've created. I'm just going to drag that down and drop it in. That movie will optimise and it will fit. Uh, now just a wording here that iBooks author only likes a particular type of movies. The easiest way to create those movies is to open them in QuickTime and from there you can export them into MOV format. Uh, QuickTime will open just about everything. If it doesn't there are add-ons, there's a Perian add-on and a add-on from Microsoft for WMV files. Between those two it'll open absolutely anything and convert it to an MOV file which is what iBooks author likes. The next one down is a table of contents. We're not even going to bother with that because the table of contents gets built out automatically as you add content and we'll see the effects of that as we start to move, fill this out. The glossary, you can add words into here if you wish whether you want to or not is another thing and you can't really add them at this point because it's much more effective if you wait until you have some words added into your content and we'll have a look at that later on too. Now if you'd like to go ahead and try to change the title, add your introduction media and then we'll have a look at the next section which is adding some content into our chapters.